Hello, my very most beautiful Taurus. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your May weekly reading. Now this is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my most beautiful Taurus, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Taurus's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. All right, the bottom of the deck for your general overall energy, we do have the four swords here. I got the full card in the reverse, the lovers in the reverse, the devil energy, two of pentacles. Okay, so it does kind of feel like to me that there's something here that you guys are trying to, I'll say regain balance, trying to find some peace with, okay? That's what it feels like. There's been a lot of anxiety. I feel like there's something that you guys have been struggling with, okay? We got the devil energy here, uh, two of pentacles, like something that you guys have been struggling with, um, it could have, could have to do with a connection. You get the lovers in the reverse here, so there could be a disconnect. And maybe that looks like there is some toxicity within the connection um, that you guys have been struggling with or dealing with a toxic person. Or it can be even codependency or fear surrounding this person or situation. Um, either way, I do feel like it's caused a lot of anxieties. And you guys are just ready for some peace, okay? So let's take a look at this. Some of you guys could be really choosing to pull back your energy with that as well. Got the three of wands in the reverse here. Yeah, there's a lot that you guys have been taking on yourself, okay? You guys don't have to do everything by yourself. Um, but I, I really feel that here because sometimes the three of wands and when it's in the upright can be a card of delegation. Um, so sometimes in the reverse to me, it can really resonate with, um, you know, putting a lot on yourself, holding a lot within, okay? Um, it can also be a card of sending something out. So in the, in the reverse meaning, you know, taking a lot on yourself and just keeping a lot in and you can see that again with that four swords it's you know very internal energy and um, there could be some some energies that you're these difficult energies that you're dealing with that need to find a way out um need to find a way to um, get expressed whether that is through a creative project you know maybe like some of you guys could be artists you paint you do this you do that I um, mean it's a way to kind of get some of that um, emotion out um, or journaling writing you know something some kind of way finding a person that you can share with you know some way to kind of get some of this out but I do feel like there's something here that maybe you at one time really wanted but you're starting to either lose hope for or starting to change your long-term viewpoint on so we have the three of cups here in your heart space okay so you there's somebody here that you could want to reconcile with um on a very heart level but recognize in your mental section that maybe that's not what's best for you okay or that maybe you can't see that working out um the th th three of wands can also be future thinking you know making plans for the future so to me in the reverse with this you know it's like your head and heart aren't quite on the same page so there's a part of you in your heart that does want to reconcile and reconnect with this person and maybe that's where some of this um you know devil energy is coming from and you trying to just keep it together and regain the balance because you could be having a lot of strong emotions tied to wanting to reconcile you could have a lot of strong emotions tied to missing a person okay um but there is still something that makes you anxious and makes you feel uneasy about that and that could be because there's some kind of toxicity within the connection that you recognize isn't something that you want to reconcile you know you want the person but you don't want the situation or you don't want the toxicity that's tied to it okay so it's definitely being a little bit of odds, odds with yourself when it comes to this I do feel like you're trying to move in a new direction, okay? Get the page of wands here. So it's like going on a new adventure, a new path, a new journey. Um, get the page of pentacles in the reverse. So some of you guys, like I said, are really like keeping a lot to yourself. You guys could be holding back communication or withdrawing your energy from this person. Let's take a look at the person that you're dealing with. Um, some of you guys could even be, how do I want to put it? Um, either you're sending messages out and they're not being received or responded to, or they could be sending messages to you, but you could have them blocked or you're not receiving them or responding. Some of you guys could be leaving somebody on red here while you kind of sort through this. Show me the person that 
Taurus is dealing with in this situation? What is their energy towards Taurus? Show me the person that Taurus is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Taurus, please? Get the Eight of Cups here. So either they walked away or you have. And now it's about just trying to disconnect from the emotions of the situation. All right, Taurus. So some of you guys, like I said, some of you guys could be have really wanting a reconciliation. Um, and some of you guys could just be losing hope in the situation or recognizing, like I said, we talked about that torn energy. Um, but others of you, um, I do feel like you guys do really want this. You know, it's showing up in your heart space. Some of you guys could be having um, anxiety surrounding maybe the fact that it's not happening or that there's little or no communication. There's definitely a little bit of a codependency energy coming up. A lot of fear surrounding the situation, whether that's we're not going to work out or we are going to work out there it's not going to happen um you know is it what's best for me should i what should i do like there's a lot of these like just fear energies coming up now they have the night of they have the devil energy too so they have some they have some of that same similar energy going on here and then they have the knight of cups here in the reverse with the ace of wands in the reverse to me this is kind of feeling like a change of mind or a change of heart um when it comes to this connection, I feel like this person has decided that they do not want to start things up again with that energy. They're focused on trying to be on their own. They're thinking that this is what's best for them. The Empress in the reverse, um, you know, that is your energy, Taurus. I do feel like to me, you know, this is just feeling like you guys have grown apart or maybe that it's best for you guys to grow apart. Um, there's definitely some, there's a level of toxicity within this connection, okay? Um now, don't take messages on that aren't for you. So if this isn't resonating for you, then maybe it's not your message. Or if a certain part does, but something else doesn't, then just take what does resonate for you and leave the rest for somebody else. I feel like a lot has been put on display for both of you here. You guys have two threes here, which is about creation, expression. Um, so there definitely is things that need to be said, whether that looks like closure or whether that just looks like some honest communication. But I do feel like a lot has been put on display for you guys when it comes to yourselves as individuals and the connection as a whole. Um, especially with this showing up in their true intention. A part of them could want to work on things or does see potential, but a lot has been put on display. Their work is being put on display here in this card. Um, and the Three of Pentacles does speak about potential but it's not quite realized yet you know there's still a lot of work that needs to be done um the three of pentacles is actually the only card in the tarot where the pentacles are not gold um and it speaks of potential you know but it hasn't been fully realized so this person does recognize that there is a lot of potential here but that there's also a lot of work that needs to be done that it's not there yet the queen of pentacles for the action they could be focusing on you know themselves self-care the home family you know that kind of an energy but like i said a part of them does want to work on this but a part of them doesn't at the same time it's that very similar like torn energy um because they do see the potential here but they recognize that there's a lot of work there's definitely a some kind of toxic energy here between the two of you you both recognize it and a part of you wants to move away part of you wants to make it work Part of them wants to move away. Part of them wants to make it work. It's a very, you know, head in the heart, not being on the same page, very torn energies. So let's take a look. We're going to look at what your biggest challenge is this week, Taurus. We're going to look at what you don't see coming. And we're going to look at some advice. So show me Taurus's biggest challenge this week. What is Taurus's biggest challenge this week? We got the hangman feeling stuck. Okay. And also simultaneously needing to gain a new perspective see something in a different way um, and to look at this break or separation as an opportunity um the hangman is you know he is stuck in one spot but he hung himself there on purpose he hung himself there and he's actually hanging from the tree of wisdom he hung himself there on purpose to gain clarity and enlightenment but it is taking this pause this break this you know being almost like suspended in time in order for him to gain that clarity and enlightenment that he needs um so there could be something about this separation or this break that is bringing a lot of clarity and wisdom to either you as individuals uh, and you as a whole, you're, you know, as a relationship, there's something about the separation that could really teach you guys a lot um, about what you guys want moving forward and your, your 
the potential that you guys have, what needs to be worked on. There's, I feel like there's a lot that this break could show you, um, but it's a need to change the way that you're looking at the separation as a separation or as an opportunity to, um, to learn and to grow and to make the most of it. So that's the challenge and feeling stuck um, and feeling stagnant as well is a challenge. What doesn't Taurus see coming? What doesn't Taurus see coming? The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a card of potential, but it's also like leaving no stone unturned. Like he is very thorough about things. He really thinks things through. He does not a big, you know, he's the only knight in the deck where the horse isn't actively moving. He's kind of stopped at a standstill um, because you have two cards that do kind of talk about the same thing um, that do represent sometimes finding the answers within the stillness, you know, being still long enough to you know, think about every aspect of things, to really process things, to come up with a plan, to figure out what the next step should be. So I do feel like though, even though things are moving very slowly, um, I do feel like what you don't see coming is that it really is um, an opportunity for you. Give me one more for what this Knight of, Pent or this Knight of Pentacles is, please. We got the Seven of Pentacles. So some of you guys could be waiting for some like communication or maybe waiting for somebody to move back towards you or waiting, you know, just waiting for something, okay, because you've been feeling a little bit stuck within this situation. The Seven of Pentacles can be a card of waiting. Um, so I feel like you could be getting a little bit of impatient or a little bit frustrated this week. That could be coming up as something that you don't see coming. Um, as well as I also feel like Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles can, like I said, be very thorough and it can be planning as well um, and potential. And Seven of Pentacles is like figuring out where you want to invest your energy and being ready to put the work in and figuring out what areas need, you know, the attention. Like, and I feel like this is one of those moments where you guys could go in with this hangman energy and really be very thorough about, okay, this is, this is where our biggest issues are. This is the root of it. This is what we need to work on, you know, within ourselves as individuals and as a, as a connection. I feel like there's a lot that can be learned from this um, separation here. Now, what advice do we have? What advice do we have for Taurus, please? We have the Five of Wands. So try not to argue or fight or have any disagreements as it's only going to kind of, um, you know, backtrack. This is also like the Five of Wands can also represent training. You know, so this is just, this could be, it's like I said, it's all in the perspective. It's in the way you view things. You know, this whole situation could be training. It could be getting you prepared for, yeah, Nine of Wands, not to give up. You know, it could be giving, getting you prepared for what comes next. And the Hierophant. Yeah, potential marriage, long-term commitment, you having some... This deck always, the Hierophant always kind of looks like they're having like an aha moment. Um, you know, that's what that looks like. I do feel like there is, with a change in perspective and with really spending some time like being very thorough and really thinking about um, things, really take, making the most out of this, I, I feel like there could be some like major epiphanies within this connection and within you both here, okay? So that is what I see if you resonates for you guys please let me know in the comments down below if it doesn't go ahead and check out your other placements everything that you need to know whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals all of that is in the description box below for you if you like the way that i read please like share and subscribe and most importantly guys if you want personal prayers for any reason at all go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and i will go through and pray for you so i am sending so much love and light until next time